Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video of myself taking apart a three-way electrical plug splitter. In this video, we will be looking inside of this three-way electrical plug splitter. Let's get right into the video. I chose to take this apart because I no longer need it and I no longer have a use for it. Um, so instead of just throwing it out or selling it at a garage sale for a quarter or giving it away, I decided to take it apart for the channel, show you what's inside. These are very common. They're commonly used and I wanna show you how they work. It's actually a very simple technology. Now this is one specific one, but they are all very similar. So there are actually two screws holding it in place. I'm gonna take my screwdriver right here. We're gonna remove the two screws holding it in place, okay? And then once we see the inner workings, I'll show you how simply they work. They're actually very similar to a power bar in how they work, but um, just their only difference is that they're much smaller and they only have three, uh, three options, basically. Um, so we're gonna remove the screws. There we go, there's one. And we're gonna remove this one over here. Might take a little bit of extra force to pry it apart. No, I, I thought that the screws were out, but I was actually wrong. I had to loosen them a little bit more. So I'm gonna place those to the side. Um, like I said, after doing this, I'm not going to be um, using this anymore. So I'm not afraid to sort of really take it apart. So take a look at this, okay? Look at how simple this is, okay? So all that this is over here, this end, this is literally just a plastic piece that houses everything and separates everything, okay? Now, I'm gonna hold these in place. If you look over here, you have your two, let's bring this on camera. If you look over here, you have your two uh, prongs and then your ground pin right here. So with your two prongs, one of them is going to be your hot prong, okay, which is generally speaking, the where I live at least, and not everywhere in the world, but where I live, your hot wire is gonna be your black wire that is contained within the, within the outlet, within the plug from the panel, okay? That's gonna provide power. The other prong is dedicated to your neutral, which is your white wire where I live, like I said, um, which is bringing the power back. And then the circular one where I live is gonna be dedicated to your ground, which is your bare copper wire that keeps everything nice and grounded, keeps your safety at your top notch. Now in here, this is interesting because it just has these metal pieces. So essentially, if I wanted to connect this, these prongs, these three prongs to this side over here, okay, all that I would have to do is have a piece of metal that attaches this to this, right? So a piece of metal would attach this prong to this opening, let's just say for instance, right? Um, in theory though, this is on the right side, and when I'm looking, on the right side when I'm looking at it like that, so this would be, this would connect to this one right here, but it doesn't really matter too much for this, for opening it up and looking at it. So, this connects to here, not through a wire, but just through a piece of metal. So check this out. This right here, this prong, is attached to this piece of metal, as you can see, okay? And this piece of metal, is attached to the various other prongs on the plug that it is attached to. If I look at this right here, this right here is actually the ground pin. As you can see, I pulled it out from there, okay? The ground pin attaches to three other places on the plug, hence those three little squares. Interesting, cool, eh? This over here is one of those prongs. I, I'm not sure if this is the hot or the neutral. Okay, but if you look, there's the prong that I just took out from there, okay? This attaches to three other locations on this three-way plug splitter. And this is the other prong, okay? This prong attaches also to three other locations on the plug splitter, one, two, three. And you can see the little opening right there. That's where the plug, that's where the, the other prong will slide in, whatever you're plugging into it. And you wonder, well, how does, how do those prongs that we, you know, with plugs that we plug in, how do they sort of stay in place? Well, as you can see right here, that little opening right there allows it to be held in place nice and securely, okay? That's it, the rest of it is just plastic. So literally the entire technology of the three-way plug splitter is sitting right here. Those three pieces right there. 
Pretty cool. Now, regularly, I would be able to tell which was the hot and which is the neutral based on the sizing of them, but because they're the same size, I can't tell. Um, just an interesting little fact. They are not, uh, they don't have polarity. When you have polarity with a plug, one side is bigger than the other, it can only be inserted in one way. When they're both the same size, there's no polarity with this plug. Very simple, okay? And that's basically it. Just some fun facts and some interesting uh, things about a three-way plug splitter and how it works. I just wanted to take it apart. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna toss it after this. I'm gonna discard of it after this. I don't need it anymore. So I figured that I would take it apart to show you what it looks like inside. We just took a look inside of it. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.